What's up everyone, it's Ryan and I have a very, very special kickoff project. I am revisiting the Two Rock John Mayer Signature Amplifier. I'm going to call this the Fairfield County Signature. And the reason for that is sort of a play. Two Rock came out with the Oak Cliff Special, which is allegedly a steel string singer number two clone and um, super cool. I didn't get ever a chance to really understand anything about it. I'm not in the VIP club, but my understanding is that it's a uh, steel string singer number two clone and the name Oak Cliff Special came out of basically paying homage to Steve Ray Vaughan where he grew up in Oak Cliff. So John Mayer grew up in Fairfield County, sort of now you can kind of connect the dots. Fairfield County signature, two rock, John Mayer signature clone. That's what I'm going for here. I have had the very lucky privilege of poking around inside one of the 25 of the two rock John Mayer signatures. And I have pictures of another one of the 25 two rock John Mayer signatures. Um, and then I'm very, very lucky that two people who own post Mayer, we're going to call them rogue John Mayer signatures after the 25, uh, allegedly two rock made a few more and the components were not hidden. They were not under the board. They were on top of the board. So between all four of those amps that I reverse engineered, I have a really good cross section of what a true John Mayer signature amplifier by two rock is and what the insides are. And what I'm most excited for, I think out of all things is that I designed a circuit board uh, to help guide my goal creating this pedal or not pedal this amplifier and I am going to make these available so as soon as I confirm that my design here's the signal board and here is the power supply board uh, again it's it's achieving one for one so you're going to see Sprague capacitors uh, I normally don't use them but they were in the original so I have to use them of course I want to get the tone you're going to see me use silver wire, which is allegedly inside the real um, Two Rock John Mayer SIG. You're going to see all the things that go into a Two Rock John Mayer signature, and you're going to see me replicate that in this in this series. So I, I really hope that you enjoy. I am going to make these PCBs available after I confirm um, that they work. And these standoffs, this particular chassis uh, was provided by Amplified Nation. He had a small run. Uh, his, I think he's done it twice on Amp Garage, made them available. So a really big shout out to, to Taylor, Amplified Nation. I don't think he's doing one currently, but the cool thing is I do have the AutoCAD drawings for Cheeriotone's JM, The Joyful Music. So what does that mean? These standoffs here, these, these things are called standoffs. They are going to be a direct fit inside the joyful music. So in theory, all you have to do is email Nick, say, Hey Nick, I want a joyful music chassis. I designed my own faceplate, which is not shown here, but my faceplate looks very similar to this. I'll even sign it for you if that's what you want. Um, in the blue pen, uh, I'll provide you that and the circuit boards that will just fit right in there. And the big difference is that you've seen the videos of me explaining the difference between the Cheerio Tone and the John Mayer Two Rock Sig. Well, um, I've learned a lot about that amplifier since then, and there is a few things that are different from my knowledge back when I made that video, which has over 12,000 hits. So thank you for all those uh, folks who have, have watched that video and commented on that video. It's, it's very popular <laughs> for me un unknowingly. Um, but I'm so excited to make this available for everyone to build their own and using readily available parts. So even though Taylor doesn't offer this chassis anymore, uh, you can still use the Cheerio Tone chassis. So I'm trying to think of ways to keep this uh, momentum going for everyone that wants to build this amplifier. Getting into amplifier building, uh, I think the circuit board is going to make it a whole lot easier because it, it really is, is it, dare I say, idiot proof. Uh, on, on building, but you know, again, as the warning states on the back of my amplifier, on, on the back of my circuit boards, um, high voltage, it can be very dangerous. If you pay attention to what you're doing and follow the rules that you've re read 
and you you know watch my videos and and also by the way don't take exactly what i say as as gospel uh can i use that word anymore um i don't want to be canceled so you know do your own research be confident before you start building if you're not confident maybe take a break do some more reading try again until you're confident about building amplifiers because it can be very dangerous um, I do admit, and I, and I know a lot of my comments on my YouTube page um, point out that maybe I'm being a little reckless advertising folks building their own amplifiers without this cut and clear warning. Um, sorry about that if I offended anyone by not giving a, a clear warning. But I am more or less moving forward and giving everyone an opportunity to build their own amplifier of their dreams, resurrecting the John Mayer two rock signature from the dead. Let's extend it beyond the one of 25. We're gonna build this in a series. I'm so excited and I hope you are too.